Lots of people want to know what the difference is between metal detachable blades and plastic guards to go on your clippers. The metal detachable blades are usually about one length shorter than the plastic guards. So for instance, if I'm using a number three and a half metal, I'll use a two plastic. The three and a half metal I use towards the top of any fade because it's really the shortest length that you can use that's still dark on most people's heads, making it easy to blend into the top. With the plastic, I'll use a two for that. Now when I use a one plastic guard, uh, the corresponding length would be a one and a half with the metal because it's just simply going down usually one length between metal and plastic. Generally speaking, on average density hair, a one and a half with the metal blade is about 50% hair and 50% skin as far as the eye can see. So that's usually where your blending from light to dark is happening. The number two metal is like the one and a half plastic. The number one metal blade is similar to the 0.5 plastic when it's about halfway open, but it varies uh, clipper to clipper, obviously. Uh, the 0.5 could also be a 1A or a one and a quarter or a little bit less than a one, depending on where your taper lever is on your clipper. And generally speaking, I think the 1A is exactly the same as a one and a quarter, but I've never actually pulled out the tape measure. The one A and one and a quarter, I often just use the corner of the blade to get out those pesky spots that can form between a one and a one and a half. The clippers with the taper lever with no guard on them generally go from a triple zero length when they're totally closed to almost a number one length when they're totally open. I finish off my bald fades with the foil shaver, some people call it a box shaver. And then I go into the top using clipper over comb to blend into the sides. And then I cut the whole top clipper over comb. 